What if I told you you can learn 10 times faster by doing nothing? You see, I'm currently following a protocol that I've learned from the internet's go-to expert for real productivity advice, who is none other than Stanford neuroscientist Andrew Huberman. Andrew Huberman. Andrew Huberman. And some of his methods have made people say, why has that not been incorporated into our educational system? Now, learning by doing nothing is actually called the gap effect which is the fifth step of a nine-step learning protocol designed by the one and only Andrew Huberman. If you implement all these steps, you will be able to learn anything on command. So without further ado, let's dive into the protocol that will make you a learning genius. Step one, get alert. You must be alert to trigger neuroplasticity which is what will ultimately lead you to learning new things. And one of the simplest ways to become more alert is to take 25 to 30 deep breaths, inhaling through your nose and exhaling through your mouth. Then exhale all the air and hold your breath with lungs empty for 15 to 60 seconds. Lastly, inhale once and hold your breath but don't force the breath hold. Start to breathe normally once you feel the impulse to do so. Whether you rely on caffeine or not, you should always do this before a learning session. Step two, get focused. Mental focus follows visual focus. To increase the level of focus on the task you're about to do, stare at a point on a wall, screen or object for 30 to 60 seconds. You can blink if you need so. You'll be surprised how this takes a bit of effort, but it will pay off with focus once you start the learning session. Maybe I'm pointing out the obvious, but turn off your phone, leave it out of the room, and remove any potential distractions beforehand. Step three, generate repetitions. Perform the maximum numbers of repetitions you can in a given learning session. For something like music, it might be as straightforward as playing a song for as many times as possible. But for something like reading, repetition might be reading as many pages as possible. Always try to repeat the process a bit faster than you're accustomed to. This will help you avoid getting distracted and it will make it easier to stay alert and focused. Of course, doing the process faster will lead you to making more errors, and that's exactly where the next step comes in. Step four, expect and embrace errors. When we make errors, it feels kind of stressful, but that's just an increase in attention that puts us in a much better place to perform the next attempt. An error rate of around 15% is optimal, so you should adjust the difficulty of the task according to this rate. Don't worry too much on the specifics though, just keep doing attempts and once you mess up, take advantage of the attentive state by doing another attempt. Step 5. Insert micro rest intervals. This is what I said in the intro that you can learn by doing nothing, which isn't really something obvious, but it's a way to increase repetitions and learn faster. Studies done in humans have shown that when we're trying to learn something, if we stop every so often for 10 seconds and do nothing during the pause, we get 10 times as many neural repetitions. This means that during the short pause, we learn 10 times faster. These so-called gap effects are similar to what happens in a deep sleep. So you should randomly introduce 10 second pauses while learning at a rate of around 30 pauses per hour. Step six, use random intermittent reward. Rewards are closely linked to motivation and desire to pursue things, including learning. But the question is, how often should we reward ourselves? And the answer is pretty simple. Make it random and intermittent. This is what casinos do to keep people gambling. It just works. 
predictable rewards lose their motivational impact quickly. Step 7. Limit learning sessions to 90 minutes. There's solid research showing that 90 minutes is about the longest period we can expect to maintain intense focus and effort toward learning. You can have shorter sessions as well, but after 90 minutes, you should take a break. Also, try to space the learning sessions at least two or three hours apart. After a learning bout, do an NSDR protocol. Two studies done in the last two years show that shallow naps and NSDR can enhance the rate and depth of learning. This is an easy practice to incorporate. With it one hour of completing a learning session, do a short NSDR protocol. NSDR stands for Non-Sleep Deep Rest. You can find videos on YouTube that guide you through this type of meditation. Step 9. Get quality and sufficiently long deep sleep. The actual rewiring of the neural circuits occurs during sleep and NSDR. Think of the learning sessions as the trigger to learn but sleep and NSDR is when the actual learning occurs. Sleep is pretty complex to master in it of itself, so I'll probably make a video about it in the future. But you already know the basics, try to get enough hours of sleep. Congratulations, you reached the end of the video and learned the 9 step protocol that will enhance your learning. I hope you found this video valuable. Good luck!